Well, firstly, I mean, this is the most troubling, uh, emotionally moving thing. It's impossible to imagine what the people of Rwanda went through. This really is one of the most horrifying events in, in the history of the world. And I think this museum is very important because it tells the story very exactly uh, and it tells it in a way that is calm but also passionate. And I think I would encourage as many people as possible from around the world to visit this museum because it teaches you so much, not just about what happened in Rwanda but also about the responsibility of other countries for what they could have done to help stop the causes of this and to intervene and of course the United Nations as well. So I think there are big lessons for the international community. This was the responsibility of the international community as a whole, and even of the United Nations. And we need to learn lessons from this desperately, because this was a terrible failure. So I'm very, very uh, proud uh, to be here. And traditionally, DFID does development work. Traditionally, in most countries, we do health or education work. And it's one that means an enormous amount to us. It was a, a sign of the fact that we think Rwanda has been through a very terrible and very particular, unique experience. And we have an obligation to the world to use this as an opportunity for promoting peace and stability because without peace, without stability, nothing is possible. Development is not possible. Economic growth is not possible. Basic human life is not possible. Oh.